This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I project only the polypaint information to a new mesh using the project all function? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have some quick scan data of a shoe loaded in here. So this scan data has polypaint information and also geometry information. So you can see the geometry is pretty rough, but the color information is pretty nice. So the question is referring to how I can go by using this project all option here to project this information onto another model. So below this tool over here, I have another model. And this one is just a low res version of the shoe that has some subdivisions applied to it. And I wanna take this version of the model and project those details from the scan data onto this mesh. Now by default, if I do this projection, it's going to project the color and the geometry. So let's say I only wanna project the color information from this tool on to this new tool. So how can I go by doing that? So the process to do this is pretty simple and it all involves storing a morph target. So I'm gonna take my mesh I wanna to project to, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here, I'm gonna open up this morph target tab here, and I'm gonna click store morph target. And this is gonna store the vertex positions of the model in this state. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is just come up here and make sure I have my other subtool turned on that I wanna project from. And then I'm gonna also make sure I have the colorize option on for the subtool I wanna to project to. So and this is what your stack here should look like. So you have your tool you wanna to project to, and then any subtools you wanna project from, just make sure they have the eyeball icon on. So now that I have this tool selected, we're just gonna run the project all option that's down here. Now there's usually one setting I change whenever I do a projection, and that's this distance slider over here. And I usually set this to around 0.1. So when you have this set up, just come over here and simply click project all. Now by default, it's going to take the polypaint information from that other model and any of the sculptural details and project it onto your new model. Now depending on how many polygons your models have, it could take a little while to do this. Now after it's completed, it should look something like this. And if we isolate the model we project it to, you'll end up with something like this. So you can see it's projected the color information and also the mesh data. So the question was referring to how can we just get that color information? Well, since we stored a morph target on the model here, we can simply come down to the bottom to this morph target tab and simply switch the morph. So this is going to revert the geometry or the vertex positions of our model back to the way it was before we did the project. Now, since this is only dealing with the positional data for the vertices, it's going to retain the color information. So as you can see, if I turn that colorize option back on, see now I have my shoe with the color information from that top subtool, but I no longer have the geometry information as well. So now I've just projected the color information onto this model. So this is really handy, especially if you have uh, scan data that is pretty rough, but the texture quality of the model is really nice. So you can just project that texture over and not distort the mesh, and it's gonna end up with something like this. So that process again was to make sure you have Colorize turned on, and then store a morph target on the model you are projecting to, do the project all, and then reapply the morph, which is going to reset the geometry data but keep the polypaint information. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.